Well, hey, D. I decided to go live. How's my volume? As you see, I have moved everything. <laughs> Thank you to my one viewer, D. Higginbotham. I know it's a surprise live. Volume's good. Thank you. Thank you. I have three boxes right there. I'm just waiting for a few people to hopefully show up because, you know, it's unplanned. Um, but I was like, I can either do a. Yes, thank you. Well, I used the gun case to actually, you can see the reflection of my light. light. That's going to be awkward. Let me see if I can. I'll have to figure that one out. But um, it covers the window, which I needed because the light coming in is going to, is long term, especially in the summer, it's going to be a problem. So I was like, I need to do something. Um, so I just moved this over there, that the ones behind me. And it, because that's actually a really good freestanding storage bookcase. Um, of course, my entire living room looks like a warehouse, but you know, whatever. It's fine. It's better than having me clean my shed. And honestly, when we're home, I'm sitting right here anyway. So, so how has your day gone, D? Hello, my other three viewers. Go ahead and thumb up the live. It's a surprise live. I know it's another live. You're like, Jackie, you just were on. I, well, I know. I know. It's bad for the algorithm. Well, who cares? Yeah. I'm working on the strap. There's a lot of um, color transfer on this, and it's coming off really easy. I'm surprised at how easy this is coming off easiest so far out of everything I've had to work on. But we went to lunch. We went to a nice restaurant. We had um, James just mowed the lawn. Or at least the back half of the lawn. He's having to go see his mom real quick. So he's working on finding some stuff to take to her that she needs. And um, we I really wanted to take a nap, but it's like 5, 6 o'clock in the evening. Um, took Pippin for his blood work. Is Pippin your puppy? No, Pippin's your cat. You have cats. Um, yeah. So I do, guys, I do actually do have a Ricky Dunn box. I'm just waiting around until hopefully Craig shows up. But I kind of surprised him. He might not be coming in. Um, but it was, I, I, there's no way I can wait to open this. So there's like, I'm going to have to open this today. And I didn't want to do another video because the video won't post until May. And I'm like, ah, oh, your orange tabby kitty. I love orange tabby kitties. I love orange cats. I blame Garfield. Yeah, you know, I love Garfield. Garfield was one of my favorite comic book comic. Ca Garfield and Ca Calvin and Hobbies was my favorite. Um, in Family Circle, you know, yeah. You know, but Calvin and Hobbes were my favorite. 
I liked Calvin. This actually turned out really good. It came, all that blue came right off. Um, Crystal, I know it's a little forward. I saw that you believe in Jesus. Do you ever feel God convincing you about letting your bags go? Actually, no. Um, he hasn't quite said that yet. He does keep me talking on this platform, though, which is weird. Um, because my my preacher actually said you probably you did. I guess you have something to say. I said I guess I do. Um, I actually give a lot of my bags away. Um, you just I have a lot of bags, so it's not very obvious. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've actually given away a lot of bags. I haven't quite done it to the women's shelter yet. That's the next thing I'm going to do, mainly because we don't have a local one here. But we do in the next town over. I live in a small rural town. Um, not that many city services. I'm happy we have any city services. Garfield's your favorite, D. I I love Garfield. I, I didn't know that giving lasagna to cats is a bad idea until I got older and realized that not everybody can eat. Um, you know, you shouldn't feed certain things to your pets. But I always liked Garfield. He was. Uh, we always wanted a big, lazy orange cat because of Garfield, and I always wanted a Great Dane because of Marmaduke. Yeah, that was another favorite. Lazy, lazy giant dog on a. Um, couch and which is exactly what my great dane was we really miss him but watson's having a good time cats are lactose intolerant wait everybody gives cats milk are you telling me they oh my goodness what i did not know cats were lactose intolerant you know okay this this strap looks good enough actually there's not much else wrong with this strap this is actually a really good this whole bag is in great condition um to be honest i mean for a 10 year old or nine year old bag essentially that is a new buck it really is not that beat up at all somebody did take care of this bag i know people think well there's water stains and there's marks but that's life you know you go out places water stains happen transfer happens i wish people who would be willing to spend the thousands of dollars on bags like this knew how to take care of it yeah this is actually a ricky this is a um bucket this is the bucket bag ricky so this is the full size bucket there's actually a mini bucket dd bean actually showed the mini um she has a silver mini ricky bucket this is the um Jesus, you're not supposed to give the milk. Yeah. So this is the, the, the bucket bag. And look how much better it looks just after this morning. Yeah. S-Zone bucket bag. I can't wait. Oh, I love the S-Zone. I have my S-Zone. I don't have the S-Zone bucket. But I actually need to grab all of my S-Zone bags together and have another video. Because they're still one of my favorite bags. I just haven't reached for them. Yeah, big difference. It's just with one... You, know, you can barely see the staining, this blue, this really glaring blue staining that was here. It's very faded now. And uh, you just have to keep working on it and keep working on the bottom. The bottom is the worst part. So for those who are just coming in, I'm doing a clean with me. I do have a Ricky bag to unbox. I'm not, this is not clickbait. It's in this brown box right here. I'm just trying, I'm hoping that my friend will show up because I want him to see it. Um because I bought this Ricky bag, the, not this one. This one came from Poshmark. The one that's in that box came from Clothes Mentor. Um, I commonly just search for Ralph Lauren and I just scroll. I used to. I'm changing my ways, guys. I'm changing my, I am changing my ways. Um, and I am waiting. So this Ricky bag, not this one, but the one in that box is from the Clothes Mentor. And I had just Googled while I was in the, Close Mentor has individual websites, and then they have the in, the whole thing with everything that's online. That Because uh, Close Mentors are individually franchised guys, and so they're locally owned, 
And I went there. I just went by brand. I went to Ralph Lauren. I said bags. And I started scrolling. There wasn't that many options. And when I saw this, I'm like, that can't be accurate. It was accurate. And hopefully it's in that box. I'm just building the suspense even in myself because I do not want to be disappointed. <laughs> and um, I actually have a real, real unboxing down there. And I think the one, the white, there's a white box. I think that one is from, I'm hoping that's the one I have from eBay that was supposed to be here. But I don't know. Hey, Monica. Hey, everybody. I didn't plan on going live, guys, but I did rearrange. I went to lunch. I had an epiphany on what I wanted to do with my space. And I came here and within like, what time is it? Within one hour, I finished rearranging. But it just, I had to think about it because what I originally thought wasn't working. And I thought, no, I need to move the wood pallet you know, over there, the pallet racking shelving storage, and then I moved the gun cabinet behind me, that blocked the window, which solves my light problem. Um, hey, Sandy, um, I'm doing some cleaning still, but I do, I honestly do have a Ricky, this is a, this is a Ricky bucket, in here is a mini Ricky, I just, I'm just hoping that Craig shows up, um, he might be busy, he might not be available, he might not be awake, you know, but we'll see, if not, he'll catch the replay, um, the man's up all hours. He's he's a vampire. The last night I was texting at 2 a.m. And he was like, girl, what are you doing up? And I'm like, my dog woke me up. He's like, what are you doing up? He was like, I haven't gone to sleep yet. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. That's when you have really good friends is when you can text them at 2 a.m. in the morning and it's totally normal. I have my phone on silent. So actually anybody with my cell phone can text me whenever they want. I never... I have it turned on my sister. It drives my sister completely crazy. Okay, we have about 14 people in the house. I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to open the open a box. Um, should we open the Ricky first or last? Because there's quite a few things. There's three boxes to open, guys. What do you want to see first? I wonder what staining have how this happened. Such an interesting watermark. I'm open. Close your eyes and grab one. Okay. Well, I'm going to lead the suspense then, and I'm going to leave the Ricky because I'm most anxious about that one. Let's open the second box. I don't know which one that is. Um, so this is the Ricky. I know that. This one. This came from Texarkana, Texas. I've been to Texarkana. It's actually a pretty nice place. It's up here on the way up to Oklahoma border. And, uh, this came off of eBay. <laughs> oh, I hate it when people do this. Yes, they stole. Hmm, don't take the postage. Hmm, what do they do? They took the free cardboard box, put a plastic mail around it, and put a cheaper label on it. These are free cardboard boxes because you pay for the postage when you uh, you pay for it with postage. Oh, this is a tool bag. Okay, uh, okay, guys, it's it's not my normal color, um, but I couldn't resist it. Um. Look at this cute bag. This is a canvas Dooney um, vintage-ish because of this this type of tag. Um, but it doesn't have, I don't think it has a strap. Let's find out. Maybe it has a strap. But I really like blue more than black. Um, yeah, no strap. It doesn't have the strap. It wasn't very expensive, guys. Um, but I really liked this canvas specifically because I wanted to put more of my 
um, Disney pins on it. And I need to find a strap for this now because this this might, I don't know, it has an asymmetrical strap. It kind of bugs me. I might just use it as a hand talk carry because it's, it's a nice little bag. So this is a of an age. I mean, there's a lot of wear on the hardware. You can see the age by the, the coloring of the trim. And you can actually even see how worn out the color of the metal is here. But, you know, I have a metal cleaner. I can clean up all of the brass. That's easy. Um, and it has some little, it didn't have feet, but this is Dooney and Burke made in the United States right here. This, this line, this canvas line was all made in the United States. So there's a, and this is one of like the last ones made in the United States before they stopped doing it. Um, I need to do some cleaning on the bottom here. Some saddle soap will take care of that. This is why all bags should have feet. <laughs> but I really liked the way the straps were like this. I like the size of it. I just thought it was cute. And I actually want to put a Disney patch, like an actual patch. Yes, I have Brasso. And I actually do have that metal polishing cream. Where did I put that? I unboxed it and threw it somewhere. I literally have a... Um, so that's my eBay purchase. Okay. Let's do my Ricky. Okay, so this is from... The Clothes Mentor in South Windsor, Connecticut. And I just bought it off their website. Paid shipping. Paid for it. it had horrible photos. I have no idea. Um, so we'll see if it is a good buy or if it's a bust. Because I don't know. Hey, Keith. You missed us yesterday, Keith. And I was live earlier today, too. I did. I, as you can tell, I rearranged my exterior. But dang it, Keith, you have great timing. Hey, Angela, I'm opening a Ricky that I thrifted. Yes, another Ricky. It's a mini Ricky. Um, okay. So far, it looks right. Um, I have a lot of bags behind me, Keith. So it has an invoice, small. It says designer handbag by Ralph Lauren Collection, size small. And it just, that's all it says. And oh my gosh, you're never going to believe how much I paid for this bag. Oh, this is because of shipping. It has a little bit of a, this is a black and white. Oh my gosh, look at how amazing this is. There's a little bit of uh, lifting here. It's just because of probably how it was shipped or heat. Uh, it wasn't wrapped very well. It was in a nice box, but look. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I can't believe I got this out of a clothes mentor. I thrifted Ricky, guys. It doesn't have the card, which is fine, because if they knew what this was, there's no way they would have sold this to me for what I paid for. Ralph Lauren, made in Italy. And um, let me see if I can get the pleating. I want to get the straps in, and then I'll tell you how much I paid for this. I want this to actually... This is so cute! Oh, this is freaking cute, guys. I'm still paying for my red one. That's on a payment plan. And this one, I could, well, this one's all okay. I'm still technically paying for this one, too. But whatever, you know, semantics, you know, this one just went on a credit card. But still, you know, this is why I had to stop buying Rickies. I like the mini Ricky. I don't actually go for white and black very often, or actually, I don't really go for black. Um, but, or, okay, that's not true. I'm changing my ways to go for black more, but I normally would not pick this in a perfect universe, but when opportunity knocks, you just go with it. You know, I'm like, I can deal with that. It's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with the black bag and white bag. It's black and white. So, pleat this in. So when I have my other Rickies, I like carrying them open. I don't actually do this, the straps all this way. But I want to see how this is going to look completely buttoned up. Because um, it is tiny. These bags are tiny. But that's why they're called mini. They are literally mini. 
oh my gosh, this thing is so adorable. And it has the key thing, guys. Um, that blue barrel bag behind me is a Dooney and Burke, um, like kind of like a papillion. It's just like a barrel bag, but it's in French blue. And that's the color that I just keep buying every time I see it because it's such a rare color and it's such a cool, beautiful, well, not cool, gorgeous blue that I feel like it ties. Guys, do you not see how gorgeous this bag is? Do you not see this? This is, guys, $125 for a Ralph Lauren Ricky. Yes, it's the mini Ricky. It's still a Ricky. You know, look at how cute. It's adorable. Barely used. I can't believe it. You know, the, here's the thing, though, guys. If the person who consigned this, because that's what closed mentors are. I know, Keith. I know. I know. $2,700. So if you were the person who had bought this for $2,700 and somehow it goes to a consignment and you consign it, you know, you sell it to a consignment store for I don't know how much because it's only a, I only paid one twenty five and let's assume that they got even half of that. You know this was a this was a bargain. It's a black and white. I never hit buy so fast in my life, like ever. I have to stop looking. <laughs> Frozen luxury, hi <laughs> Saya. I didn't mean to go live, but this came in the mail and I had to open it and show you guys. So there is a little bit of a color discoloring right here who cares is minor you know this is leather this is the cutest little bag you have ever seen um it's adorable i love it and it's i mean it's virtually unused guys i mean <laughs> i am so happy to get this um no, the second shorter strap is missing. It is missing. The little handle, the top handle strap is okay. Uh, but it does have the key key thing, you know. $125. I'm not complaining, you know. Um, it's it's so cute. Um, no worries at all. Maintenance is fixing my front door is going to water. Oh wow. Says <laughs> Aloha Saya. Yeah, this is so cute. Um, it needs a moment. Yeah. Normally there's a top, a little top handle strap, but it's fine. I mean, normally of all the things that's missing, I'm surprised this is the thing that made it, the keys. Cause I figured the keys would be missing. There is a little bit of, um, damage right here. It's kind of lifting a little bit, but you know, no one's going to notice that, but me really, I mean, somebody might. Um, if you ever wanted to sell or trade that one, I'm down. Okay, Saya, I just got her today, so I'm not quite inclined, but I know who to call or text. <laughs> hey, Brian. Um, yeah, I was working. I, as you can see, I've moved everything. I came home after lunch, and I just started moving everything. So let me show you this barrel bag. This is a Dooney and Burke. And it's in the French blue. This is an older style. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Um, I bought this off of a Facebook group, uh, at, which I've now left because it's a buy, sell, trade group. And I have to get off my buying groups because, yeah, work yourself into poverty, right? So here's the other box. Uh, uh, this one. So this is a I think I know what's in this box. I don't remember if I bought two things or one thing. I think I bought one thing. The box is a little overly large for one item though. Yes, I agree, Lisa, that French blue. And it's like so hard to find. People are finally letting go of it though, so I've been able to find a bunch. Okay, I bought one thing. Well, heck. This is going to be a problem. This is Craig's fault. Okay, this is two. I have two coming. If I had the other one's not here yet. The other one is not here yet. But I bought this one off the real reel. Look how pretty this is. 
Well, okay, it's not really Craig's fault. This is just me buying it and blaming somebody else because it's fun to do. But this is a Reed Karkoff. And I got this because it's 20 inches this way. And I like a tote like that. This needs some conditioning. See, this is what the yellow should look like, this bright yellow. What it does look like is a light lemon yellow because it's been faded. It's faded, guys. And I can see that now that I'm touching it. It's so soft. Ah. Oh. oh, it's huge. Um, this I don't remember the name of this bag, but it's a Reed Karkoff. I got this off the real real. See here, here you can really see what the yellow is supposed to look like. That's what the yellow was. This is what the yellow is. So this definitely needs some moisture. It's dry as the Sahara. Um, this 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 is not an expensive bag. Um, this is the real real. Can't return after the things removed. You can't return any of their bags. You know, the only thing I've ever been able to return off of the real real is jewelry. I bought some jewelry from them way back in the early days, and it didn't work out for me. So let me do some moisturizing. Um, you can just by putting in this leather conditioner, which is going to darken it, will probably bring back a lot of the color. It will never be the same vibrant yellow. Um, you can if you dye it, but I'm not. I'm not quite. I don't mind. I'm not. I'm. I'm okay with the light lemon. It's a good even. Um. See, this is this is the Apache oil. So the Apache oil will always um, darken and soften, but in this case, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I need to put some more on this. It's cloth, though. So dry. <laughs> yes, Keith. I have a feeling this is just stored wrong, like a lot of things are. It's called an ant okay, the Atlantic Atlantic tote. Well, thank you. This is what I got, the Atlantic tote. I just there was two on the real reel. There's probably one still left there, but this is the this needs. I'm about out of this. Yeah. What did your dog do? Oh, you cut your hair? Okay. Wow. No, it's fine. Let's see how it dries. And that's really taking in the normally you should do a test patch, guys. Normally you should always do a test patch. I live recklessly. To live recklessly. So what can happen here is because it's soaking so quickly, it's a little uneven. And that can be a problem later. That's why I'm trying to put it on as fast as I can. It's even. Sometimes this is better to be applied with not a rag, but with a sponge. It can be a little bit more even um, in distribution. But, you know, whatever. It's just a bag. It's just leather. It was 50 bucks, less than 50 bucks. Um, the other bag that's in the mail that's still not here yet um, is for my mom. That's the one I thought this was going to be. So my sister is going to go visit my mom in Europe. You're scaring me. That's sludginess on the yellow. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's okay. Really, it's okay. It's just, it's just darkening. It could darken to a, a, a darker color yellow instead of the light lemon. I'm okay with that. Yeah. It's just really, 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 really dry. Really dry. Super dry. Super, super dry. Super dry. Never been, never, ever been um, moisturized ever. Um this is what I, I had a bag that was a vintage, um, see it's drying a little bit over here, a vintage 
in putty, I think. It was a coach in putty, and I was going to darken the leather, and my friend Beautiful Steps, she was like, please don't. I'm like, she she's a she's a collector of vintage coach. So I felt like she would appreciate the bag more. So I sold it to her. I said, here, you can have it. You'll I was just going to, you know, condition it and darken it. And she goes, That's a very rare color, Jackie. I'm like, okay, you can have it. You can deal with it. I'm fine with that. You know. She's like, you can do whatever you want. But I'm like, well, I just told you what I was gonna do, and you had a panic attack. So This is a really pretty bag. So the only thing I'm actually worried about is here and here, it might get too dark. Two lives in one day. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It wasn't planned, but I, I came back from lunch and I thought of how to rearrange my bags in a way that are the furniture. So that's what I did. crazy how um how dry this really is but you know i think i'm going to change my conditioner i'm just going to do one layer of this and then i'm going to change from this oil over to a different i feel like this needs a heavier conditioner than what i'm using so you can see how it, it's changing to a darker yellow. It's just because it's dry. It's, well, it's oil. It's literally oil. Okay, where is my other... They're my favorite... I don't know what I just dropped, but I'm sure I dropped something. I'm rolling over paper. It's lovely as nice size don't come with a strap, so I ordered, yeah. Um, rolling over bubble paper. Uh -huh. This my favorite. Um, this is my favorite. Well, legislational. I'm honestly not surprised. <laughs> So this is my favorite, favorite. You can see I've used the most out of all of my other, and this is like 15 ounces. Oops, sorry, I hit the, I hit the microphone. microphone. Um, so let me show you what this will do. So see, it's lightening up again. But it's never going to be that butter yellow like it was when I first opened it because that butter yellow was was not might have looked nice, but it was not good for the leather. <laughs> it needs to be um, this is one of the driest bags I have ever um, ever opened um, other than I think a oh, what's it called? One of my vintage, the vintage Black Willis I bought was the only other bag that was drier than this, and that one was 30 years old. So I have no idea the age of this bag, but it's going to need a spa day, a couple spa sessions, guys, a couple spa sessions. It's going to, and I have to spa the inside, to be honest, there's leather, the leather collar. Um, so this is a heavier, a heavier, um, protected conditioner. 
and it will darken it some. I'm okay with that. I'd rather it be protected more. Huh, your phone is probably 15 years old. Yeah, I can I can believe it's probably 15 years old, but it's in really good condition other than being dry for being the age of it because of the um of the light yellow. It just faded. That's all it is. It just faded, guys. So I'm probably just gonna put this on the on the yellow and then I'm gonna put it on the darker brown. And just let it sit for 24 hours. Um, thank you, Brian. And it's just going to be, you can see there's some fading on the corners too. But in general, this is a very well-made, really, I mean, we know they're well-made bags. They're well, it's a really good bag. This bag, I'm, I'm not upset with the condition of this bag. And did I tell you it was only $50? So... A nice leather awesome bag for 50 bucks no one's upset yet i do have too many bags the good news is since i'm not buying anything until september let's see how long that lasts um james doesn't believe me it's okay um i'm gonna try though every day is another day and every day i try um so Actually, I think he went to go see his mom. There we go. Jackie Craig's have opened my eyes to non-LV bags. Well, LV has been hyped for a long time, and, and there's definitely a lot of history and love with LV and all the other French brands, but I like American things, too. And I like the fact that we have American brands. Um, and I didn't know about Reed Karkoff until, until um, Craig. And I didn't know that there was any other line for Ralph Lauren other than what I found at Macy's. <laughs> so I've been very, this is why I've gone down this huge rabbit hole of bought everything I could find within like three months because uh, it was all brand new. Like, as I said, when I was buying just Dooney, I've been buying Dooney for so long that I have so much of it that I don't have to buy everything I see because I've had it forever. And I said, oh, no, I don't want that one. Or, oh, I want that one. Or you already have that one. Where with the Ralph Lauren and the Reed, it's like, especially the Reed is a limited amount. You know, this stuff is no longer being made. So what's out there is out there. So every time I see it, I'm like, I feel like compelled to just grab it because it's made so well i mean it's made really well and i like the design i like the style i really love the ralph lauren stuff too but i like all the ralph lauren stuff not just the ricky bags the rickies are cool because he really loved his wife, and I thought that was kind of neat. He actually didn't like his wife with any makeup on. Um, he liked his his wife to be natural, um, and his daughter too. He she said his daughter was doing an interview for a documentary and said, "Yeah, Dad hated me with makeup on, and Mom, <laughs> he wanted you know the natural beauty, and he was very a big proponent of using nature and a lifestyle dream and." Anyway, that's it. I'm going to let it sit. Oh, it's heavy. I just threw it over there. And now I have all this over my hands, which is fine. Um, I just picked up the Reed Karkoff tote on the real wheel. It was the red and pink, and it's very good condition. <laughs> I'll just stay for Hey, D, that's how I am. That's how I am. Brian says, Hermes and Chanel are my overrated... Um, Tamir, I think they are. I think, I think they're beautiful quality items, but I think for the cost of them, you can get equally as beautiful items somewhere else. To be honest, if you had them because you were lucky enough to get them when they weren't astronomical, love them and enjoy them, use them. Don't be afraid to use them. I've heard a lot of YouTubers say I can't, I don't feel safe using my um, Birkin or I don't feel safe using my jumbo flap. I'm like, I don't know where they're going 
in in traveling and i mean people here if i came into a store with a with a chanel i'm not sure they would know the chanel or even a birkin to be honest um brian simpson i've been lucky and have not had any quality issues might have been excellent yes that's great keith luxury labels are overrated please don't throw tomatoes at me please <laughs> no 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 we we all agree with you we do agree with you we we do think they're overrated because ultimately the product the material they're using is still cow is cow is goat it's sheep 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 um it's a leather it's um if it's an exotic it's going to be a lizard or a crocodile or alligator or whatever it's still the same materials it just comes down to design and construction so what i'm telling you like brands just give you a minimum quality and right now apparently the minimum quality of chanel is not that great you know it used to be if you're paying five grand for something or ten grand for something it'd be pretty spot on perfect now you can't say that you know you pay three grand for something and you're lucky for it not to have an issue Are you back? Can you see me now? I hit the wrong button on my mouse again. Um, even Super Jacob is talking coach. Well, he has to, because every the whole I feel like all of YouTube has become coach. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Like today, I think there was about four or five different coach. Um, and it's and honestly, coach is like, um, yes, he is D. I was like, heck yes, yes. Brian says, I'm excited to get my first Strathberry and second. I have a Strathberry bag, but it's, where did I put it? Over in the corner. But I bought it to give my sister, and I've just never given it to her because I love it so much. Um, yay, thank you. You can see us. Um, we got my first. Oh, you got the Smith tote. You got the Smith tote? I didn't see a photo of the Smith tote. Which Smith tote? Wait a minute. Maybe you did show it, and I don't remember. Angela says, I'm a coach gal. There's actually a new coach bag I want, and I have no heart to tell my husband this. But because uh, I've been very vocal about my feelings towards coach. And he's like, mm hmm. There's a new men's bag in the it's called the charter flap instead of what i have which is the double charter they have the double char the charter flap and i want it in a blue that's gorgeous i have 10 coach bags and love them all says d brian black denim is on my lg oh, oh no no i did see that brian yeah i've got the dempsey tote coming which dempsey do you have angela um Jackie, a little off topic, but do you have a um, Lane Hope chest? No. Yeah. We don't have room for a chest, to be honest. Yeah. My sister has the cedar chest. We have a really awesome cedar chest, but it got damaged in one of the bazillion moves we had, so she's still sad about it. But yeah i don't like the fact that i have so many of my bags in um plastic totes it's not good for them i'm nose i've nose dived in my vintage coach angela the 22 when i'm obsessed with the coach bag all day but i didn't cave to buy it yes winnie what yay because winnie honestly the last time you bought a okay, you bought that gorgeous faded blue twenty or no faded blue Cassie nineteen that you traded over to Brian, not Brian Ed, and you never used that bag one time. So I don't believe you're gonna buy this cute little mini coach bag and use it. Don't buy it. <laughs> I feel like your sister. Oh, my sister loves. Well, my sister's all antiques. Her whole house looks like an antique. Um, hey Don. The Dempsey is a great bag. I have a 30 and working to a 40. Yeah, the 40 is a workhorse. Um, so I opened the Ricky. It's missing the top handle strap, but you know what? Life is fine. It has it is a crossbody. Um, 
and it has this bag I don't use the top handle with anyway. I use the crossbody. So this is my little mini Ricky I thrifted from the clothes mentor out of Connecticut. It was $125. Yes, but I'm no longer shopping, so those deals are out there for everybody else now. Because <laughs> I can't look, can't look, won't look, can't buy, won't buy. I want to buy, but look at this. I have no place to put them. I can't display them. I can't even find the ones I want to use. That's what I want it for. I gotta go back to the office three days a week. Ooh. Yeah. I go to the office five days a week. And actually, I honestly think going five days a week is easier because then I have an actual desk and my things can just live there. The people who telecommute, they have to haul their computers back and forth. That is a lot. It's cuter with the top handle. Well, it is, but they didn't send it to me. I'm okay with that. I can always find an extra, a, a small little top handle. Actually, I think what looked really cute with this is um, a strand of pearls just draped over the top, like a handle, a pearl handle. I think that will be really pretty. Hey, Tana. Haven't seen you in forever. I am just hanging out. I said it's cuter without, oh, without the top. Oh, sorry. Okay, Keith, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I am just cleaning a suede. This is a new buck bag, and I am using a, a, a cleaning stone. And all you do with new buck is you rub, and you just buff, and you polish. And you do it a lot over and over and over and over again. Because what you're doing is you're roughing up the nap of the new buck, and then you're just taking off the dirt and the, and the debris. I forgot to buy a solution for it. I'm not sure I want to use the one I have until I get, I might just have to buy a new one. I don't like the way the applicator looked. I'm like, hmm. And that one I will do a test patch on because I've never used it on such a light. The last bag I used uh, the new buck cleaner on was actually a red suede bag and a brown suede bag. So I actually really like suede bags. I used that eraser on my Uggs. Yeah, see, it takes time. You just have to keep doing working at it. You just work at it and work at it and work at it. And then eventually it will be as clean as it's going to be. There's actually a solution you can, a cleaning solution you can use if you want to clean the actual leather, but I don't think it needs it. I think this just needs um, constant work a little bit, a few more times and evenly. So I don't just work in one spot. You just have to keep working at it. And then it will get better and better. The pearl handle would be a darling, especially on that with the hang. Yeah, I think so, D. Um, I love pearls. I do too. I'm a huge pearl fan. Always have been. I actually gave a lot of my pearls to my mother. She um I have had my father had five daughters. She always bought jewelry, perfume, and cosmetics for us. It's like he didn't know how to buy us anything else. And um I've had I had so many strands of pearls, and they're just freshwater pearls. They're not, you know. They're still beautiful. They're still pearls. And my mom didn't have any long pearls anymore. She would gifted a lot of her other jewelry away. But she's going out. When she goes to Thailand, she goes out and she wants to wear something that isn't always, like, huge, heavy gold, you know? So I said, Mom, take these. I have tons of these necklaces. And Jenny has them, too. But Jennifer doesn't share anything. <laughs> Jennifer's like, no, those are mine. Well, Jennifer has a daughter. I, I just told my sister, like, Jennifer, I hope your daughter loves jewelry. Because the amount of jewelry she is going to be inheriting from you is ridiculous. Um, I 
what's up with Mickey Moto Pearls? Not sure. I'm s- yeah, the Mickey um I haven't done anything with my Mickey Moto Pearls. I wanted to get them restrung, but I haven't. Um this is not just a regular eraser. It's actually a stone. Um they do have a r- an eraser type. Um this is it's kind of um a hard rubber, but it's more it feels more like a stone. It's not quite focusing, is it? Focus. Let me see if I can read it to you. Suede cleaner. It's just a uh, doesn't even say. I think this, one's, this is made in France. It's French. It's just if you look up a suede cleaner, you'll find these. You can use um, a natural rubber eraser if it's made from rubber. Um, which is hard to find. A lot of them are synthetic now, but if you get a rubber, actual rubber, you can use that. Gum, Grum, Gumbacher used to make them. You used to be able to buy them. I don't know if you can still buy them anymore. At, at art stores, we used to use them all the time. If you did drafting, you always would use pencil drafting. You always use a Gumbacher because it wouldn't shred the paper so bad. But not the classic... Oh, you know what? I have. I bet I have some... Uh, this is me cleaning solution. Take it out. Thank you. D says, the more you work on the bag, the more beautiful it gets. Yeah, it's just going to take patience and not me being impatient to want to just stop and do other processes and like, nope, just sit down and just keep working on it. Hey, Jeanette. <laughs> It's a great color. I love the color of this, like buttercream. So what else? Have we, what did everybody else do today on this wonderful Saturday? Our neighbors mowed. My husband mowed. We went out to lunch. Came home. We might be going to a movie. We're thinking about going to go see Kung Fu Panda. Pixie, what do you be? Thanks for the hits up. The rainbow strap I wanted last year sold out. Aw, got for 70 all on today's day. Oh, that's cool, Pixie. Is that the short rainbow strap off coach? I really want that strap. Jeanette says, I went to McDonald's. Oh, no, I went to the grocery store and had tea and at McDonald's. Yay, I'm so... Oh, wait, the Ghostbusters is out? D, Ghostbusters is out. We have to go see Ghostbusters. I want Ghostbusters more. What is all that? Is that trash? Oh. Laundry? <laughs> wait a minute. Can you come back? I need to see your face. I think he just shaved his beard. 
Oh, you did. You look really nice, sir. I like this look. Very Rasputin. You should come over here. Well, <laughs> maybe not. Yeah, there's too much stuff in the way. He can't just come over here. Um, and now I'm doing laundry. <laughs> James is doing laundry. It was in the 199 retail. You did great. What was 199 retail, Winnie B? Um, oh, poor Angela. You have a sick puppy. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I have that strap and love it. Oh, the strap that seventy dollars was two hundred dollars before. Wow, I want that strap for seventy bucks. The only problem I have with it is that for this cost me seventy five dollars. So it's like, do I get this thing that's an accessory, or do I buy a bag? The bag always wins. <laughs> hey, Melissa, thank you for the. Uh, I went to lunch. I came back and I rearranged it so in an hour. I tried starting it this morning and it wasn't working, and I just stopped. I'm like, okay, I'm done. And then I started cleaning the bag and I kept looking. I'm like, I think I know what I need to do. So as we were driving to lunch, I was telling James, I think we should, I should do this, and he he agreed. He said, good plan. And then while he was doing the yard, I was doing the setup. I am officially out of space. There's no more beg borrowing and stealing. There's no more Tetrising. There's no more things I can do. I am officially on a ban till September. It's going to be a lifelong issue. He has dry eyes both. Oh, no. No, no, no. Your poor puppy. The strap goes on everything. I agree. You know. It does. It's a rainbow. It's hard not to have to go on everything. I will probably, as I say, I'm on Ban Island. I still will probably buy something from the Pride Collection that Coach puts out every year because I love it. Um, last year, I actually got something from their outlet Pride Collection. I'm hoping this year they do something different. They've kind of done the same thing the last three or four years. It's like, come on, guys. Think outside the box. Yeah. And then... um. There's that new Charter Slim, um, the Charter Flap bag in the men's collection I really want. And a blue that just came out. It's because, you know, it's me and blue. So we'll have to see what I do. It took me a year to buy the last Charter bag I bought. So I don't know. September, do you realize? Oh, yes. Yes, I do, Brian. You know, I do. But that's why I'm going on vacation. I'm going to, and I need to pay for the vacation. And it's going to be an expensive vacation. You know. So we've already paid for the room. We've already paid for the tickets. Well, when I say paid for the tickets, I mean we paid for, the credit card has paid for the tickets. Now we have to pay off the credit card. And I'm hoping by the time we get there, we will have paid off that. At least the, the ticket costs. You know, whenever we invite our friends to Disney, we know full well it's not a gift. Like, yes, we pay for the room, um, and that's a lot of savings, but the cost of going to Disney is so high. Um, I have run out of space. I'm getting rid of my little Michael Kors bag to make room. See, that's the problem I had, too, is I got rid of a bunch of little bags, and then I keep buying totes. One new tote. Um I will see what I have left, Winnie. What are you talking about, Brian? It is only, I know, it's only March. I know. Selling your MJ totes. Um, Brian, yes, trade. Um, wait a minute. Winnie, what are you trading? I want to know. I'll see what I have left, Winnie. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. Brian, the last thing you traded to Winnie, you ended up buying back again. 
should you be trading? I mean, not buy it buy from her, you buy it again. Winnie, I'm waiting for some big cash to come in for, from my retirement. Yay! <laughs> Are you going to buy a bag to celebrate, or did you already buy the bag to celebrate? Sometimes I buy the bag before the event. <laughs> Okay, you change my MJ totes both. That I love the blue. You have a be that beautiful blue and that beautiful purple. Oh my gosh, Winnie! Really? So they're so gorgeous. Purple little tote mini, the mini charm too. I'm gonna celebrate again. Why not? I agree. Luxational. Live once, one life. Enjoy it. Oh, let's see. Canvas. Let's see, I sold my mini bug bug and bought it back through. You did not, Brian. Huh? I'm happy with my N MJ denim and argon. Oh, the argon oil is pretty cool. Jeanette says I have a canvas powder blue, large Mark Jacobs tote. Um, yeah, you have to the canvas ones you have to take care of. I mean, you have to take care of any bag, but the canvas ones, you know, they're canvas. What? Winnie B. On the go? I trade with Meredith. I but that's your but but that's her Meredith bag, Winnie. Winnie. <laughs> what do you want instead though? Tema, how has everyone been? It's been a while since Yeah, we're just kind of hanging out. Um I'm just re re cleaning a bag. I never thought you'd part with that bag, Winnie. I didn't think you would, Winnie. I also have a Coach Field Toad and canvas ivory and leather trim. 
Oh, for cat, you would sell it for cash. Well, Ozempic isn't cheap. And here's the thing about bags, you can always get another one. Yeah. Honestly, Winnie, I think you're more of a monogram person. If you got rid of your on the go, you'd have to, I mean, a cat to scene maybe, or just sell it. I mean, if you're not using it and you haven't used it. Oh, James, do you go see your mom? Oh, you're doing it tomorrow? I'm waiting for his. Oh, the clothing? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, oh as you are. I stare when he has to sell my Chanel. Oh, yeah, the Chanel. Ooh, that's hard. I sold my Speedy. I got into a bind and I sold it. Jackie, are you making progress on the bottom? Yeah, it does. Doesn't it look better? So this is the same type of kind of a silicone rubber. And it just, I wanted to get a lot of the, use a smaller one and then go in harder with this one. I'm putting more force on the bottom. <laughs> Winnie, I think it's more like curating your collection. You're you're curating what you really use. You know, it's like you can love something, but again, you never know if you love the bag until you use the bag. And then sometimes you're like, I love the way you look. I love everything about you. You're too heavy. You fall off my shoulder. Or, or you know, I thought I'd love you, but you go with nothing I wear. So I'm not keeping you. That happens. I mean, that's why I end up always buying the same silhouettes or the same type of bags or, you know, I know I'll use them because they're the same bags I've been using my whole life, you know, the ones I like the most. My sister got me a bag for Christmas a couple of years ago and she's like, you have nothing like this in your collection. I didn't have the heart to tell her. I absolutely hate fringe. So the reason I didn't have a bag with fringe is because I hate fringe. So I have it. It's in my house. I look at it with love that she bought this really cool artisan-made bag thing that she liked, she thought I'd love, but I don't love it. 
And then I used to buy her bags she doesn't love. So now I try to buy her bags or give her bags that I have that she says, oh, that's a cool bag. Like, will you use it? You know, almost all half, more than half of the bags she owns, I bought her. How close is anyone to me from Port Richie, Florida? I have no idea where that is. I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure if this is going to come off anymore. This might be the best it's going to look. Oh, yeah, at least the stains on the bottom. I agree. The things people do to their bags, Carter, is like this. <laughs> yeah, Dee, I understand what you're talking about. That didn't hurt so much to sell the Chanel at the end because, you know, it's a valuable bag and we love it and you want it. And again, you used it, but you're like, it didn't hurt to let it go. And maybe it didn't mean to stay with you forever, you know? I feel that way. The only bag I read, only a couple bags I have actually missed and bought back into my collection. But I have so many bags. I love so many bags. It's like, I, I am from the, yes, Canada. So, Winnie, what is it about that coach bag that has you obsessing over it? It's pink and tiny and almost, yeah. See, the thing is, I, as soon as I saw that bag, I'm like, this is fendography. Just without the, you know, Fendi at the bottom, same kind of shape. I really want to see it in person, though. I'm still mad at Coach. I'm just going to be smarter and wiser about what I buy from that. Because we're never breaking up completely. I still love them. They're still American. You know. I'm just going to be... I'm not falling for their collaborations anymore. There is a Disney tote I want, though. It's not actually... It's not the... The the Disney tote that's on sale right now on the reserve section at Coach, it's like for $370. It's just too expensive for what it is. I've seen that exact textile, and I've seen the embroidery. It's not, it's not that good. Um... But they have the willow tote, which I, by the way, hate the willow tote, but they have Donald Duck at Disney Springs. It's a Disney Springs ex exclusive. Um, what you doing? Brownwood, Florida here. Hey, Maradon, I am just cleaning um, a new book bag. 
So it's really just watching chatting and cleaning. So you guys are chatting amongst yourself and I'm chiming in once in a while. I opened a, a bag. I bought a new Ricky. Um, I know the one you mean, Winnie. I love pink, but I'll do, don't do tiny. <laughs> I still have about 100 bags to part with, but still, I am, Tema, I'm with you, girl. I'm with you. I am still having a hard time parting with the bags I have, and I kept buying more bags, but I'm at, I'm at the overwhelmed state. I'm at the, I have nowhere to put it state. Um, When I, Friday, uh, last Monday, when I bought that, when I bought this little bag, and I knew I had the bigger version of it, I'm like, Jackie, you have pro problems. Um. <laughs> When he says, I'm going to look at it a hundred times, I don't have any afterpay karna in it. That feels, that's good. I have, I have afterpay. Uh, no, I have karna still. So when that goes, I'll be very happy when that goes. Um, D says, I am not a Willow fan. The leather is met. It's not so much the weather, it's the divided. It's the divided um, interior. I hate that. Um, but I love myself Donald. Donald's my favorite. I mean, Mickey and Minnie, they're fine. But Donald is like my spirit animal because I'm, I know y'all see me as like a happy human being, but I'm really grumpy. I'm honestly grumpy. You know. <laughs> Great job, Winnie. Feels good to be done with those. Yeah, when I'm done with mine, I'll be done. I'll be so happy to be done. And then I'm going to forget they exist. Hey, Tema, how's your new job, by the way? I have that one, Jackie. Zoe and I have matching. Oh, my gosh, that's so cute, Tema. Um, I have a small ink mark on my yellow vintage Ergo. Oh, that's cool. That'll work, Lux. Um, I'm Winnie. I'm Winnie the Pooh, I guess. <laughs> um, oh, bother. D says, when I'm done with mine, I'm going to uninstall the app and so I won't be tempted. Yeah, that's how I feel about mine, too. Um, I've never knew how to clean new back. Yeah, most people don't. You you have to, the same way you clean suede. This is a suede eraser. It's like a kind of a sanding brick, really. It rubs it away. Um, and it just, it, what, what you're really doing with this is you're, lifting the nap of the grain of the leather and then you are really just removing the top layers you're removing the stain by rubbing it out and that's why you want to keep um going all over the bag so you don't want to just fixate on one part you want to make it as even as you can and just constantly you're sanding the layers of it honestly that's what you're doing you're you're just roughing it up you're moving the nap of the leather back and forth back and forth and it just gets better and better and softer it, honestly it softens it too so the little bits of leather are, are coming off you know but this bag is from it's like from 2015 and it was never it was never uh worked on it was never conditioned and once you're done cleaning them there's a there's actually a solution you can use that will help protect and moisturize it but it has to be specific to nubuck and suede and then you want to spray it down with a protectant because you don't you know it's 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 not like a smooth leather it's a little bit more high maintenance but the result is you have this wonderful tactile kind of soft awesome bag or jacket 
It's weird, though, that most people have suede shoes. I had to learn how to take care of suede shoes because I wanted, I kept wanting to buy them and my father would get mad because you cannot have suede shoes if you don't know how to take care of them. So I had to learn how to take care of them. Hi guys, I'm going to Sevion bag purchases, use the credit card, pays rewards points. I put my groceries on the credit card. Hey, that's cool. Um, job didn't work out. The training was absolute horrible. The two different trainers completely. Oh, wow, Tema, that's awful. I hate that, especially when the trainers uh, are the worst. Well, D, you also live in Florida. I don't know if I'd be having um, suede in Florida. You guys rain too much. Too much humidity in general. You can actually kind of see the suede nap pull up more and more now. It is different. It goes in different directions, show different colors. Hmm. Angel, what tote did you buy? Okay, give that for a break for a while. Get here. How's it working on this wrap? For coffee lovers, they are the best. I hate the taste of... You do? I love coffee. Does America and Australia have coffee crisp chocolate? I have no idea what those are. Sounds good, though. Um, Outlet had it for 113 and oh wow nice mac mac watching you clean that bag is pretty thank you that's why actually i was talking to craig about it he goes he loves watching um asmr videos of just cleaning because i don't think i'm actually able to sit here and not actually talk at all but a lot of people like watching cleaning videos and i said i'll do one in real time because people really don't all the other cleaning videos are so um sped up 
Yeah. Actually, let me move this down a little bit. Maybe you can see better um, what I'm doing. Oh, Tema, you're allergic to coffee? That's sad. I love coffee. But I drink a lot of tea. I drink both tea and coffee. I found Sway New Book Eraser. It's Yes, this is a Sway New Buck eraser. It is. This is more of a stone texture and it wears off a little bit, but you can actually use an actual rubber eraser if you have one, but it has to be rubber. Uh, a lot of erasers you can buy for school are not rubber erasers. You can find rubber erasers in art stores. If those even exist anymore. So, by the way, if you're looking for suede or nubuck as a textile, nubuck is a higher quality um, than suede. It just comes down to the grain. We have the Maxwell House coffee. We have the Maxwell House coffee plant here. Wow, that's awesome, D. Oh, Craig, Craig, you're here. I'm. I. Oh, I missed your entrance. Let me go back up. Wait, I still can't find it. Dempsey, did I go up too high? Oh, there we are. Yay! Hi. Um, so this is my cute little wiki bag. It doesn't have the top little cross the top handle bag part, but I'm thinking about getting some pearls to put on there because wouldn't that be cute? Um, but yeah, 125. We're not complaining. Not complaining. Look how gorgeous this is. Uh, the other bag I purchased, I slathered with oil, or else I'd show you, but it's it's over there. Ed! Oh my gosh, Ed! Oh no, 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 it's right here. See, it's right here. The mini Ricky is right here. Um, it's right here. I, I got it. I got this from Clothes Mentor. I got this for $125. I never bought something so fast in my life. Um, it doesn't have the top handle, but who cares? Who cares? The rest of it's here. I have the key thing, which I don't have on my other one. And look how adorable this is in black and white. The pictures were awful. Um I love that bag and scarf. Um, so I've been working on this right here. And actually, um, I'll show you. I'm trying not to get this. 
I was working on this strap. This had a bunch of transfer on this on the lacings. It came right off. It's not even there anymore. Um, <laughs> oh, you two are funny. Yeah, I feel like I'm just kind of hosting the hangout site, by the way. I'm just cleaning a bag while you guys entertain yourselves. It's not me talking to you all so much as just saying hi. But look, look at how much better it looks. So that big stain's still there, this bigger one right here. But look at the bottom. Look at how much that's gotten better. This is called, well, I looked under Ralph Lauren, but this is called the Mini Ricky. This is a very expensive bag. This, they priced it wrong. They didn't know what they had, and they, they priced this for $125. This is a $2,000 bag. Yeah. And I bought it. And I'm sure they were happy to get the $125. <laughs> Craig, the leather is butter. Uh, Jackie, that is that bag. I, what is that bag? Oh, the one I'm working on. This is called the Ricky Bucket Bag. This is also another two thousand dollar bag that I thrifted and stole out of Craig's arms. Essentially, um, it was seventy five dollars with shipping and tax, and it's yes, two thousand um, dollars. But I have just been working on it because it was a lot of staining and the more I work on it the prettier it gets it just I mean this I'm not sure I can ever get out without actual cleaning hey she um so am I too loud okay um so this is a gorgeous 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 bag and the only reason I got this is and it's from 2015 is because people here's the thing guys you spend two thousand dollars on a bag but then you don't really know how to take care of it. So when it gets bad, you just get rid of it, which is what happened. And um, I don't know how many people bought this before I got it or who owned it before I got it, but it's it's a gorgeous bag. People donate everything. Yeah, see the Watson spot. No, we can't because I'm uh, hiding him. Secret Watson. Secret Watson. My Watson dog's over there. Hey, everybody. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Um, oh, oh, my gosh. It's well, it's, it's an amazing deal, but it takes a lot of effort, you know, and, and trust in the process, right? I was willing to risk the hundred, you know, $75 just to if I had to die the whole thing, you know, you don't ever know till you try. Jackie, what do you want for the mini Ricky? Winnie, are you serious? This mini Ricky? Wait a minute. <laughs> Saya might kill me because Saya wants this bag. He wants a trade for that bag too. <laughs> what do I want for the mini Ricky? Y'all, I just opened it. I just got it. Let me at least have it for a couple months and then ask me in six months, okay? Saya so just got a really cool bag. Saya so wants you to have it, he said. You were so silly. <sighs> I got um, my my new bag to or Jen would love a Celine. Oh yeah, no, she's gonna have to buy that herself. That's how I'm feeling. Um, well, she is called obsessively looking at deals, and what I do to find, I'll tell you guys, what I do to find the Rickies is I don't look for Ricky. I actually never search for Ricky. Sometimes I do just for fun but what i search for is ralph lauren i search for ralph lauren and then that is what i and i scroll i sit there and i literally scroll um 
She, oh yeah, and I have stolen them right out of his hands. This is true. Um, this is one of them. This is one. Of, I had it on my love list too, and then he hearted it. And then the people who I hearted it with, when I mean, we both hearted the same bag, same vendor, um, gave Craig like a sixty dollar deal. And I said, what? They didn't give me the sixty dollar deal. So I went and said, hey, can I give a sixty dollar deal? And they said, sure. And I bought it. So what tax shipping 75 80 bucks it could take a little bit more work you know but even even again even if i just leave it alone i think it's fine when you would love a bag from behind me ha ooh winnie i want a celine ha <laughs> um <laughs> That's cool. That means we'll all have the same Celine bag. I have that bag. Winnie has that bag. And now hopefully Don will have a bag. Yeah, right? There's there's a little bit of light staining here. Let me just work on the bottom some more. And I need to stop messing with it. I can mess with this forever. Um, I do need to buy a moisturizer for it. There's a certain type of moisturizer you want to use for suede and nubuck. Um, and it's a spray. Oh, Craig, if you've noticed, I moved everything. <laughs> um, I have a sleen. I'm thinking of getting rid of a brand new. Hey, Craig, show me what your Celine is. Send me a photo, please, because I love Celine. I want to see. Can every, and I think almost all your stuff is brand new. Can I see a Ricky Mini in my future? <laughs> you were hilarious, Winnie. We're not helping Winnie with her bad, her banned bag island, but she's a lot of trade, so she can trade all day long. She just can't. She's trying not to buy anything. I need to downsize some of my collection, and it's hard. It's painful. Oh, Craig. Um, the other... Let me show you the other thing I have. Okay, I did put conditioner all over it so it's a mess so i'm definitely going to move this back far far away because the one thing you do not want to get on this is put regular conditioner on it so oh, the other i got this bag too oh craig this one Look at this. It doesn't have the crossbody strap, but I got this because I want to get some big Mickey Mouse patches or some type of, like, sewing patches and put on this bag because I just think it's cute. And it, But it does, it does have that asymmetrical, and I hate the asymmetrical strap, so I think I'm just going to use it as a top handle. I need to clean up the brass. It's, a, it's of an age. I don't know the name of it, though. I don't know. I just got this off eBay. It's one of those last things I ordered off eBay that just is trickling in the last few bastions. But this is made in made in um USA, Dooney. Um that's a four hundred dollar bag. Wait, what? Yes, no buying training clean large edge bag in black and green. You're you're gonna get rid of a black and green bag, Craig? I don't know the name of this. I just was looking up for Dooney and Burke canvas and I really, and I wanted part of their new canvas collection, but I'm waiting for a sale. So while I was waiting for the sale, I found this and I figured this would be so pretty. And normally I want a blue one, but this is black, black and tan, but it's so pretty. Um, I thought I would have, and I like the size. I just think it's a cute bag. I that's what I'm asking. It's literally new condition. Um, but let me show you the other bag. Uh, Jeanette says Demilier brand is Vancouver. It was from, I didn't know that Demilier was from Vancouver, Canada. I like that brand. Um, love that little Dooney. Thank you, Pixie. Um, so this has oil on it. So it's, it's, it looks a little, little, little colorful. Um, 
And there's a piece of paper stuck to it. Let's take them off the paper. Um, it's got to, you know, absorb in. But I've ordered this off the real reel. Um, and it's going to have to sit overnight and just soak in all the oil. I gave Keith a heart attack almost because this is a light butter yellow. And as you put the conditioner on it, it darkens it and it won't whiten again until it dries completely. And he was like, dude, you're giving me a heart attack. And I'm like, I know it's okay. It'll be fine. You know, actually, how did I miss this corner? So it's sitting for about 30 minutes. We think this bag is like 15 years old. So you don't get yeah i know right don't get anywhere near the new buck with this this will kill the new buck there's so much oil slathered on this i'm actually gonna wipe off the excess it's driving me nuts i'll probably do a few more treatments to this anyway it will be fine normally i'd let it sit overnight and then so i have this long piece of hair i have very short hair hmm. So this one came off the real reel. Um, that bag transatlantic, transatlantic came out in 2015. Really? That's not that long ago then, 2015. Do you have this one, Craig? Yes, but I'll show you again. I have it. I, I'll show it. I'll, I'll show it to you. Let me just get all this oil off of this. It's just a protectant polish. It's not really oil. Its brand has only prediction. Oh, it's only from 2014 to 20. Only four years? Huh. That's crazy. They should have given it more time than that. Oh, I'm just removing a conditioner. So I just put conditioner all over this. It has to dry. So this bag is, is slightly, all the leather is damp. Um, this side, I put an actual oil. So it's a little darker here and here. It should dry fine, but if it doesn't, it's fine too. It's a leather bag. But the first thing I did when I opened this was just pour um, a bunch of conditioner on it because it probably has never had any so this is my favorite wax based protectant and it still has to dry i'm just removing the excess i have a real love for yellow bags I can't really wear yellow. It doesn't look the best on me. I do have that one yellow dress. Tapestry wanted to give it more time. He just wanted, walked away literally closing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Apparently, he didn't like his working conditions. So this is just going to hang out. 
And I'm going to not touch anything for a while. Came in this really nice real real bag. I have one more bag coming from the real real, and I think that might be all the bags. Oh, the Ricky bag. Let me show you guys the Ricky bag. This is the Ricky bag. It doesn't have the top handle. Look how cute this bag is. It is adorable. And this is a, what I like about this bag too is it's actually long enough that I can wear it easily. <laughs> Fluxational says I'm starting to love yellow bags. I've never done anything like this. Yes, I've taken some heavy duty stuff. It should be okay. Love my yellow Alma. Oh, I love yellow. I just like yellow. With it. It's a pretty, you know, your bad mood, just get in a, a use a, use a fun colored bag and just enjoy it. Jackie, I think the pearls will look good, but if you can find black, ooh. Yeah, I think black pearls would be pretty. Why not? I have yellow ostrich juni that I love. I have I really want to try and touch an actual ostrich um skin. I've only seen ostrich patterned leather cow. I've never actually seen ostrich itself as a leather. By the way, did you all see? Um, Cammy's closet, her new um denim bag. There was one she got. Um, I found an ostrich boxer today. Oh, what color was it, Craig? Let me live vicariously through your searches because I'm not searching. I'm trying to actively not search. It's it's hard. <laughs> Gray. Oh, that's interesting. I always I want Meredith's. Well, I don't want her exact bag, but I like that light blue ostrich she had from blue-ish, I guess, blue-gray that she got from her Hermes bag. Dawn Donut says I saw it. Denim, uh no. I love I love she I don't think she loves it though, guys. Also, Saya just went. Oh, Saya went live. Okay, well, let me let me leave this and let's go support Saya. Um, Frozen Luxury. If you guys don't um, know him, go find Frozen Luxury. He's live. Let's go hang out with Saya, and uh, we'll see. I'll see y'all later. We will hang out again. Bye, guys. Um.